The past week has been plagued with headlines in Germany, from crime to more COVID-19 cases and a dispute with the United States. It seems Germany can't avoid being at the epicenter of the public eye. So here are the top five stories that you definitely need to know about. It's the third time in a year and a half that Germany seems to be the home of a large-scale pedophilia case. This time, the police found 500 terabytes of child pornography in a suspect's house. He had been picked up by authorities twice in the past on the very same charges, but he was still allowed to go free. Even his mother is a suspect for reportedly aiding and abetting him, and worse still, she worked as a kindergarten teacher until her arrest. It's a large network, a pedophilia ring that is nationwide. So far, 11 suspects have been arrested. It begs the question, does Germany need to do more to combat child abuse? Und so haben wir sehen müssen, was dort passiert ist. Vier erwachsene Männer vergeben sich an zwei kleinen Jungs wechselseitig und aufs Schlimmste. Es werden Gegenstände benutzt. Sie können sich es nicht vorstellen. Relations with the US seem to be at boiling point. This week, US President Donald Trump reportedly ordered the withdrawal of nearly 10,000 soldiers from Germany. That makes up about one-third of all American soldiers stationed in the country. It came as a shock for Germans, whose defense relies heavily on American support and presence. This has all happened, but strangely, Merkel's government says they haven't been officially informed. Bis uh, zur Stunde jetzt keine offizielle Bestätigung der zuständigen Stellen in den Vereinigten Staaten ob diese Pläne wirklich umgesetzt werden sollen oder nicht. Wir sind, kennen bisher auch nur die Informationen, die es aus der Presse gibt. This week, Germany joined countries around the world in playing host to protests, calling for racial equality. Hundreds of thousands of people took the streets, squares were packed with protesters, and Black Lives Matter and I can't breathe slogans resonated throughout the country. But COVID-19 measures were nowhere to be seen. And now there are questions about a possible and stronger second wave of confirmed cases. Germany has lifted its travel warning for 31 European states, but for the other 160 non-EU states, the warning will remain in place until August the 31st. The government insists the criteria are to keep Germans safe. But countries like Turkey, whose COVID-19 response and recovery rate has far outpaced many of the EU members, have been left off the list. And now, it seems the relationship between Germany and Turkey is on a downward spiral. Now, Germany is in Germany. In the coalition government, is known. Bu koalisyon hükümetinde Türkiye'ye karşı nedense bir yani garip bir tavır var. Şimdi önümüzdeki günlerde Merkel'le bir görüşmemiz olacak. Onunla da bunları konuşacağız. And finally, if the music is the food of love, then the Berlin Opera House has found a way to take part. German opera singers and musicians who were banned from playing to large audiences due to COVID-19, are using the parking lot of the German Opera House as their stage. And then we have us remember that we have a open air opportunity, namely an Innenhof. The acoustic such conditions has that man here with singers and orchestra an opening can make. Performers across Germany are adamant that the show must go on, but the pace of COVID-19 will decide if everything will soon be the same.